Everybody's so creative. You want something easy for dinner tonight to make? Get yourself some Ritz crackers and put them in a casserole pan and slap some ground beef straight on top. I know you're used to seeing it broken up in a bowl separate, but we're not doing it that way. We're cooking different today. And now pour some milk in there, right in the casserole pan. And you're saving dishes. You don't have to dirty up all those dishes and keep bothering people about washing them because you're so tired from doing everything. All right, add some eggs. Okay, I think we're getting ready to make a meatloaf. If you don't have any of these ingredients, go down the street. Don't bother Kiki. Kiki said you can ask her cousin Keisha. Keisha will help you out with some of those ingredients. She doesn't have any children, so she has lots of food. Okay, now add some more garlic in there. Okay, with your bare hands. If you're having guests over, I suggest you use a spoon. That might be nice. Okay, now add some salt on there because you want to season up all of this ground beef. Okay, now some ketchup. It looks like we're going for a nice meatloaf. This might be pretty delicious. Everything seems pretty simple so far to me. I probably would have did it separate in a bowl, but it's okay. Nobody has time to wash that anyway. I fully understand. All right, add some black pepper. Must add pepper. I like where we're going with this so far. I don't have any problems. Now, my mom didn't make it like this, but that's okay. Everybody cooks different. Add some brown sugar. All right, now you want to cut some sweet into that, I guess, to get rid of some of that salt, you know, to kind of balance it out. That's what we're going for. Now add some green onion. This is going to probably be really good. Green onions taste good. Okay. Now you go right in with your hands. You want to become one with that beef, just crushing everything all together. And as you're doing it, you're thinking about how stressful your day was from your nine to five job. Get all that out right into that meatloaf. That was the purpose of doing it all this way. See how that looks like you probably ain't going to like the way it feels? Because you won't. But by the end, you'll be smiling. I advise you wash your hands really good if you want to take this road. All right, see, that's starting to look like meatloaf to me. All right, just mix, mix, mix. Just keep on mixing. Make sure you get your kids to help you out too. If they came from outside, they can wash their hands if you like. Or if you'd like to go in that way, that's up to you. You guys are eating it. Keep on rolling it around until you get everything combined. Because remember, you didn't combine it in the beginning. Now mash it down and you want to flatten it out to look like something you've never seen before. Uh oh! It ain't going to slide down easy if it ain't cheesy. Now it took a turn. This pretty much took a turn from something different than any meatloaf I've ever prepared. This is what the twist is. So this is going to really surprise your guests and have your guests wondering where you get this recipe from. Now you want to put, oh, it cooked for six days. It cooked for six days. See how it looks like a shepherd's pie, but it's not? See how it looks like it probably is a shepherd's pie, but it's not? That's what you're going for. You're going for indecisive. We don't know what we're doing or what we want here. See how that looks? See how it looks pretty much like meatloaf? But then you're thinking about the fact that it's really not with the cheese and stuff. Uh-oh! Now sauce it up so we don't know what's going on underneath. Now it's a surprise in there. Whoa! How's it taste? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh.